Okay, so if you listen to my last talk, you'll know that I think that enterprises need to revolutionize the way they think about their data, that soon the status quo will no longer suffice, and that the first key to unleashing this revolution is the enterprise knowledge graph. So if the future of data looks graph shaped, then let's try and break down exactly what a graph is. The good news is it's not complicated. In fact, if you look at this drawing, my guess is that you'll find it quite intuitive. In a graph, each item is data item is called a node. And you can see that they're drawn here as circles. And then nodes are connected together with edges, which are drawn here as lines. So hopefully you can see that a graph contains nodes and that nodes are also known as vertices. Like I said, it's simple, but what's so great about that? Well, graphs can capture the fundamentally messy nature of data while still retaining enough structure for computers to efficiently query over them. They have a kind of structured scruffiness about them. The main data structures that we're all familiar with today are tables, which you'll know from Excel and relational databases, and trees, like the folder structure on your PC, or if you're more technical, JSON or XML documents. The flexible nature of graphs mean that they can model both tree-like data and tabular data, both with ease. It can even model quite complex concepts and provide islands of certainty and richer data structures like images and text. And in this sense, the graph does not so much replace these other data structures as provide a universal way of representing them and connecting them together. And that's the next really great thing about graphs. These connections, these relationships or edges are made first class citizens. They're just as important as the nodes themselves. And the more time you spend thinking about data, the more that you'll realize that data is all about relationships. Facts cannot exist in splendid isolation. Rather, everything is positioned within the context and in relation to everything else. Please spend a moment to contemplate this as it is key to the pivot that enterprises need to make. Stop thinking about your data in terms of separate business aligned systems. Instead, concentrate on the relationships and start thinking about your data as a connected whole. Now, some people will say they could do all of this in a relational database or whatever their favorite data store is. And whilst this is true, I, I think it misses the point. Graphs were made for this. They make it so simple. All you have to do is break down your data into three part statements. So Ben is a person. Bob is a person. Ben's son is Bob. Bob lives in the UK, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. You can just carry on adding these facts forever. And that's it. You atomize your enterprise data into these three part statements. And as if by magic, out the other end pops a huge graph. It's not rocket science. Anybody can do this. And that's one of the messages that I want to convey here. So that's why graphs are one of the keys to connecting all of your enterprise together into a unified data layer. And that's what's so great about graphs. If you're not convinced, I encourage you to spend some time thinking about the importance of relationships to data.